hey, I've got something here for you to check out. Um, I had this concept for like a steampunk electronic tuba. And uh, this is what came out. And I think I, I think I got what I wanted. Um, it's built inside this decorative box and this box is meant to sort of look like a Victorian suitcase. The hinges and the extra details there, I thought that was really cool. I found that at Value Village. And the bell uh, is made from a, a mixed stainless steel mixing bowl that I just got from the dollar store. Um, and then the rim is this uh, copper look plate, uh, platter, uh, that I just cut the rim off. And now it actually isn't copper, it's plastic, which is good because then it's not very heavy, right? I just hot glued that onto there. Um, and inside of it is this little hamburger speaker, they call them. And um, it's got quite a, a good sound for a little speaker. Plus the bell helps a little bit, I guess. And then um, we've got these keys and I designed these uh, to be cut on the laser cutter. I designed the, the key box and um, they, and then I painted the keys. I'm really happy with how the sort of etched keys look on there. Uh, and they actually press momentary buttons, just like almost like arcade buttons that are underneath of them. Um, they're really just sort of a decorative way to press a button. Um, so that turned out pretty good. Um, I guess I'll turn this thing on so you can give it a listen. Just, uh, I just have to open up the case like that. And okay, well, actually, while I've got it open, maybe you can have a look inside. So it's um, your typical rat's nest of wires, um, all wired into a special board that uh, when the keys are pressed, um, they play uh, these little recordings of uh, these little wave files that are recordings. So I'm just uh, I'll turn it on here like that. And oh, shout out to Mac. Thanks so much for your help, Mac. I was a little afraid of soldering onto the redboard because you need a little tiny solder and we have a big clunky one here at home and I didn't want to ruin the board and I don't have a lot of experience soldering the fine, fine stuff. So my buddy Mac um, uh, soldered on these uh, headers that stick into the board. I soldered the bigger buttons um, and mostly I didn't ruin any buttons in the process. But um, that's what it looks like inside. And now it's on, I'm gonna close it. And now, make sure I latch it up. Okay, there we go. So there it is. Oh, I think I have to turn on the speaker too. That's got a little knob on it. That should do it. Okay, let's see if it has a sound. Uh, oh, there it is. That wasn't me farting. That was actually the the tuba. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love it. Okay, let's see if I can play a song. If I screw it up, you're not going to hear that version. I will definitely edit this video. So <laughs> let's see if I can do it. Who knows in one take. You might know this song. Let me just get my bearings first. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I almost got it right. I don't have to do another take, so that's good. So yeah, it's such a neat sound. Um, I can um, maybe play this other song. song. <laughs> Thank you for watching. 
that's how it sounds. Uh, this is my third electronic musical instrument, and I think it's definitely the most fun to play. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's the most reliable to play as well. I made two other electronic instruments that I showed on videos, um, but they had sort of glitches that um, I didn't really have time or the inclination to fix. But this one, I think it just works, and I think it's going to be really neat um, if I ever go to some steampunk events uh, uh, at any time to kind of just... <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.